the time is now. Now is the time. Something's got to change on this planet. Something different needs to happen. It's more and more obvious to people that there's a shift going on, a planetary shift, that with technology and the internet and as connected as we are, mass consciousness is now ready to connect in the heart and co-create this shift. All things are our energy, and including our thoughts and feelings. So whatever we're feeling, we're in a sense broadcasting that out into space. And when you have large numbers of people broadcasting something similar, that's possibly detectable. And it does have an influence, I believe, on the sort of the consciousness field of the planet itself. And through the Global Coherence uh, Project, we hope to begin to provide more empirical evidence of all of that and begin to bring that together in a unique way to begin to show that, in fact, our thoughts and feelings and our intentions do really count and that they do impact others and they do impact the world itself. It all starts with the heart. When the heart's rhythmic beating pattern is smooth and ordered, it's called a coherent rhythm. And that coherent rhythm entrains or synchronizes the brain rhythm, the nervous system, the bodily organs and glands all dance in harmony to that heart coherent rhythm. So people kind of know inside that when they feel connected in the heart, things line up. They're more at ease and more in the flow. And there really is a scientific basis for that. So heart coherence is when we have groups of people intentionally becoming heart coherent with a collective heart-focused intention. And there's a lot of power in that. On the scientific side of the Global Coherence Project, one of the elements is we're developing a network, a global network of extremely sensitive magnetic field detectors that are uh, designed or tuned in to the fields generated by the ionosphere of the Earth. Now what's really interesting is the resonances or these waves that are occurring in the ionosphere. The first one is 7.8 hertz. That that's the, the very same frequency as the human brainwave of the alpha rhythm. And you could think of this kind of like a, a brainwave of the planet and the heart rhythms of the planet. But it is indeed our hypothesis, and, and there actually is data to support this as well, that it's a two-way street. That what we do as individual humans, especially when we have cooperative or collective human emotionality. We all feel a similar thing at the same time, be that a, a negative thing like anxiety or stress or something positive like care and compassion. But that, that the human emotionality is amplified and literally modulates the Earth's magnetic fields. It doesn't take as many numbers to help really change the planetary field environment if they're in a coherent mode. Our goal is to have 350,000 people really practicing coherence building in a coherent mode. And we think that's gonna be perhaps sufficient. Uh, once we get the, the global system, the monitoring system established and our, our measuring human Earth interactions in a way that is very scientifically rigorous and we can really test that hypothesis, we're much more connected and interconnected with each other and the planet than we ever, ever possibly imagined before. And that's what the Global Coherence Project is really about. How to go from individual coherence to social coherence to global coherence.